Okay, we'll start with a barbless jig hook. Um, this is a 4mm silver slotted tungsten bead. I have sheer olive 40 naught tying thread. We'll just start at the bead and we'll work our way back. Remove that. We just want to put a foundation on first. This will give us a an even body. And then we go back up to the top. And I've got a length of red floss for the tag. We just attach that and we'll make a couple of turns just to secure it and then we'll fold over the other end of the tag, keep them together on top of the hook shank and we'll work our way back to there take our scissors don't want a long tag on this so if you just rest your scissors against the hook bend trim that off and then I have a length of fine silver wire, we'll just put that in the slotted bead and we want to go all the way up again going all the way up ensures that you get a even body there we go, we can hang that out the way, then we want to turn our hook upside down we'll go back down right into the tail base like so give our thread a spin anti-clockwise to flatten it and then we've got a length of nymph skin that I've cut to a taper so what we want to do now is I'll just tie this in on the underside like so just position it, that's good constantly remembering to spin your thread anti-clockwise to keep it flat and then we go over the nim skin back right into the tail base or the tag base keeping it on top of the hook shank like that and we can turn our hook around and we want to go back up to the bead again And we've got some glow bright. You can choose the colour you want. For this, I'm using fluorescent yellow. Let me take a short length of this and we just place this around the hook like that and pull it over onto this side. Make sure that they're approximately the same length, both ends. And then we'll take a couple of wraps just to secure it. Then we take the other side and we pull it over onto the other side of the hook pull them back turn it this way so you can see like this and then we'll go keeping them on each side flatten our thread again now we don't want to go all the way down into the tail base this time we want to stop about there and then we go back up again Then another length of the floss, glow bright, pull it round again, even up the ends, two or three turns to secure it, pull that over onto that side, 
pull them both together. And then work our way back again. And again what we want to do now is just stop. A little further up the body. Like so. And then we'll go back up again. And continue with another three or four strands until we've covered the whole body. Like so. And then... You should have, if I can separate that one out, these strands on each side, like that. Then we turn this upside down and we pull the nymph skin over the body and we just tack that in with our tying thread twice in front. And then we'll go twice behind just to hold it in position. We can trim that off like so. Then we take our silver wire, separate out that one, the first floss. We'll come up, oops, in between there, and we separate out that floss again there, and go underneath, up here again. and continue the whole way up like so we take our tying thread and we'll lock off the wire and we can just break that off with friction like so Turn it this way, you should be able to see. I'll turn it this way, it's easier for me this way. Let's split those out. Like so. So we want them, hold them even like that. And then we can trim these off at an angle. do the same on this side good and then we'll just spin our thread anti-clockwise and what I've got now is some uh, peacock dub rainbow black Take a little bit of that peacock dub. Don't need much here. I'll pop that in there. And then we'll spin clockwise to make a dubbing rope. We don't want these super long ones. Just want a little collar here. And we'll go around. So finish it and we'll come up here tighten that up and give it another one
pull off the longest ones. And that's the finished bottom crawler jig. It's a nice little pattern, fish is upside down of course. If you enjoy the videos, please like, share, subscribe and thanks for watching.